Hello YouTube, welcome back to the workshop of the Jack Pine Savage. Uh, today I wanted to do an update video on my lathe conversion uh, using the treadmill motor. I uh, had some good comments on it. Uh, one of the comments that came in recently was that it was pretty loud. And yes, I would have to agree that the treadmill motor was definitely uh, louder than the, than the normal AC motor. Uh, the reason for that was the flywheel that's on there that blows air to keep the motor nice and cool. Um, and as you see in this video, I have solved that problem. And uh, basically what I did was I enlisted the help of my local machine shop. And they went in and cut the flywheel off. So it just left me with the, uh, with the drive um, pulley and uh, cut that fly that all that weight of the flywheel is gone the fan is gone um i don't really think i'm going to have an issue with overheating uh, i do have the overheat protection circuit hooked up just in case um, if it does become a problem i can always find a small fan from a microwave oven or something that i can hook onto it to to keep it cool um, but the other thing that the flywheel did was it kept the momentum going um, it would take you know 30 seconds maybe even as long as a minute to wind down unless you know you slow it down you know hand brake it um, so it made it a little bit uh, more time consuming to you know change positions or whatever just because of the wind down time um, and I had another issue with this I had in my control box um, the back of it was kind of open and with the air blowing around it would blow the sawdust up inside of there and this thing had gotten all full there was a bunch of sawdust that got on top of the board and I think it cooked one of my the IC chips in there um, because the variable speed had quit working on me uh, and I've now replaced that board um, and so now I'm just leaving this cover on loose so I can go in there and blow it out or vacuum it out every once in a while and keep that clear. Um, another thing that I did that I think is an improvement is, well, the way that I have it set up is I have a, um, as you can, I'll show you, there's a power bar over here on the side of the bench that I plug in um the tachometer power the power for the motor my shop vac is plugged in there for the dust collection um and that when i turn the power bar on um, my light comes on and it would power up the whole box would power up uh and i was having a tendency of leaving it on all day and of course with the wood chips building up in there i think that's pretty much why it cooked that board so what I've done now is I took the, um, out of the second treadmill that I tore apart, I took the safety key and I installed it as a primary power switch um, for the main board in there. It doesn't have anything to do with the tachometer, that's a separate power supply. But, um, you know, I can plug in this and, you know, that'll turn it on. If I pull that, as you can see, it kills the power to that whole board. So, you know, that's a nice safety feature. I can clip this thing onto my belt or whatever, and that way if something happens to the on the lathe, if I was to back away, it would shut everything down. Um, so, nice little safety feature. That's just the primary power going to the, to the main board in there that controls the motor. Uh, otherwise, everything's the same. Um, you know, it winds down a lot faster now without that flywheel on there. I don't have the noise and the wind blowing. Uh, I think it was a nice little little bit of improvement. And now, hopefully, I also won't cook my board uh, so that, you know, it'll last longer. Because, uh, well, when I'm doing my pens, I was doing okay switching the belts. That didn't really take that long. And I pretty much used only the slow speed and the fastest speed anyway. Um, but if I want to do bowls and other things, I, I really like having that variable speed. It just makes things so much nicer to be able to do and 
um, now that it winds down real quick I won't have to worry about changing the the belt ever again or um, and I've got it set right now to the second slowest speed and I've got such a huge range of speed on that thing I mean I've had it turning well since I've done this I haven't really tested to see how slow I can get it to turn but I'm sure I can it'll go somewhere between 100 rpm or a little less all the way up to about 3600 rpm and I'll never have to change the belt so I certainly don't need any any more speed range than that so I, I think that's going to work really good for me but that's what I did that's how I improved it um, if, if you do this and you want to uh, not have the noise and all of that just uh, take that pulley with the flywheel down to your local machine shop um, they did that job for me and another small job and they they only charged me like $25 so um, you know, it might be a little different where you live, but still should be pretty reasonable. Uh, certainly less than a whole new motor and lathe and all that. So uh, I'm very happy. I mean, the, the my whole conversion now, that, that puts me at $37 for the entire uh, conversion with having that thing machined. So uh, I'm very happy with that kind of kind of deal. But uh, yeah, that's the update. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helps you out. Um you know, please feel free to make modifications and just remember shop safety is uh, number one important thing. Just be careful with what you're doing and you're doing everything at your own risk. But um, yeah, thanks for visiting the workshop of the Jack Pine Savage. See you next time.